Welcome back people, we got some more Bus Simulator 21 for you guys here today. So normally when I make videos I do normally just use a mic, but for this one I'm obviously using the face cam because I want to show the steering wheel. So the steering wheel that I'm using is a Ferrari Thrustmaster T150 steering wheel with false feedback. Um, I haven't got the feedback on that high, but anyway. Um, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because we do all different types of videos showing steering wheels and new games, old games, pre-ordered games. We do lots of that stuff. So you can subscribe if you're interested in that. Um, so I've key binded the back button, which was my indicator, and that back button. I've key binded. If you don't know what key binding is, it's basically where you can choose what button you want to do what. So the right uh, back pa paddle, I put that as the accelerator, and the left, I put that as the brake. I do have the foot pedals for this, and this does have foot pedals, but um, I just find it easier a lot. E yeah, I just find it a lot easier using just the steering wheel. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to drive the bus. I've already set out a route. This is the double decker. <laughs> we showed this before. Yeah, I really am quite excited for this one. I'm interested to see how well the steering wheel does on this game because we've tried it on um, the other bus simulator. So it's the first time I'll be trying it on this. If you hear sometimes the night the uh, mic knocking a little bit, I do apologize. I'm trying my best. I've got the mic kind of set in between the steering wheel because I haven't really got anywhere else to put it. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's alright. But let's give it a shot. Let's take it out for a ride. Well, the steering, you know what? Um, just to mention as well, I, I'm doing share play um, with Big Man. Big Man, sometimes he plays games and we share play them and we show those on the channel. He gets bored of games pretty quick, so sometimes we... Well, sometimes, a lot of the times we put a lot of games out there. A lot of new games, and that's... Um, obviously thanks to him as well so today he's watching me um share play just because he wants to see how well i'm doing on on this steering wheel so if you hear me talking i'm not talking to myself i haven't lost it just yet so anyway bigs i just wanted to say the steering is a lot easier with the steering wheel compared to the controller which i'm quite surprised about that because sometimes on some driving games when you use the controller, sometimes you can control the vehicle better using a controller, but it ain't like that in this case. For this, the steering wheel is so good. I can't believe how good it actually works. It definitely works a lot better than than the controller, that's for sure. I don't know how well we're going to be doing... Oh, well, look, why am I set at 50? Why ain't it going any faster? What button do you press? Circle. Okay. So yeah, I'm not going to bother to use indicators just because um, some of the buttons are a little bit strange. Now's the time. <laughs> Now's the time to see how well I do on corners. I definitely can feel that false feedback. Just trying to put itself back. I have no idea. So the good thing is about the steering wheel as well is when you're turning corners and stuff, then you let go. You can. You don't have to turn the wheel back. So if you're turning, for example, right, you can turn right, and then you don't have to turn the steering wheel back. The steering wheel will pull itself back to the position of. Oh well. <laughs> In the position of straight, my mic dropped. That might happen a couple of times. The mic dropping. So. Uh, yeah, as I said, I apologised ahead of time for that. I have just nowhere else to put the mic. My desk is just absolutely full up with um, a lot of paperwork at the minute. Yeah, really good experience using this steering wheel. And as I said, this is the first time of me using it on here. If you want to become a member as well, we also have memberships. The link will be in the description below if you want to support the channel that little bit more. Subscribe drop a like if you've got any comments about the steering wheel or any comments about the game leave that below and i get back to you as quick as i can and if you are able to share the content please do it definitely does help me grow as a content creator i've put quite a few videos out now of bus simulator and um yeah i'm actually quite enjoying it so it's what i'm going to be doing i'm obviously driving here now um but i'm gonna i'm gonna make another video as well of a multiplayer me using the steering wheel again and big man will probably join and drive around with us maybe we're we're maybe possibly do the same route so the last time i played this this is my account not big man's 
So the last time we played it, I um, somebody's blocking up the door. Yeah, it's quite a low level, and since then, I have definitely, <laughs> definitely progressed through a little bit. Oh gosh, what am I doing? No, nope. come off of that. There we go. Yeah, I keep pressing wrong buttons. When I'm stopping the bus, I gotta, I have to go back to the controller because I haven't key binded stuff. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I'm level 15. The other good thing about creative is, as well as you driving around, well, it's called sandbox mode, but it's basically creative. It means the same thing. So I'm able to drive around and it doesn't matter if I crash. I'm not going to lose any money. And I can choose to drive any bus that I want. Oh gosh, the mic dropped again. Oh. So, in that in <laughs> in that situation, that's where the sandbox mode is pretty good because right now, um, at whoa, someone else is there. What's he doing? Did he stop? Did he? Okay, he vanished. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I can get a little bit of practice in by doing this sandbox mode so I like it for that fact and for the first time of me using the wheel I'm actually not doing too bad apart from apart from that little bit just there nobody saw that so I'm gonna stretch stretch out its wings a little bit on this bus I'm gonna head down the motorway I've set quite a quite a long mark so we can get on the motorway and open up this engine Okay, I have no idea what I hit there. Crashed into an obstruction, I think that said. Oh, I definitely like using the wheel. When I play when I play this game, I think that's what I'm going to be using from now on. So at some point, yeah, man, at some point I'm definitely going to key bind everything. So, Big Man had the other steering wheel, which was the um, PlayStation steering wheel, T50 he had. Oh, 180 he had. Um, yeah, PlayStation wheel, 180. It's ended up broken, so now... When I say broken, it's um, it's not it's not completely turning smoothly. It's, yeah, it's a little bit cranky, so because of that... Uh, he is going to end up buying a new steering wheel at some point. That steering wheel is pretty good to have. Now, this steering wheel, when I brought this, this steering wheel cost £200. And it is still near enough around that price. And that is... I'd probably say that is worth it, to be honest. Now, again, I'm not sponsored in any way by any company or anything like that. But just in my personal opinion, I think I've had this wheel now... Maybe like two or three years. Huh? The bus? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I will do. Now let's just over overtake that. I'm I'm getting some serious speed right now. It's not in miles per hour though, that's one thing I've noticed. And as well as that like Traffic lights, crashes, all of that kind of thing. Doesn't cost anything. So we're doing 93 kilometers an hour. Should I? I'm going to go for it. That's not something you see often, is it? A double-decker bus overtaking. <laughs> yeah, occasionally, yeah, you do, yeah. I really like how good this... This wheel is so good, man. This wheel is so good for turning. I can't believe how, how good it is. I really like it. Okay, so we got to put our... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't... I shouldn't have listened to you there, big man. He was, he kept telling me, put on the window wipers. Quick, put them on, put them on. I shouldn't have listened. Doesn't matter, though, but as I said, because this is sandbox mode, it doesn't matter if we crash. But I crashed then. That was because of big man, not because of, that, not because of my driving. <laughs> so normally I do make videos for around about the eight to ten minute mark, but this one I'm gonna let it run on a little bit longer, just so that way you can see me uh, 
Yeah. Oh, well, I hit a car there. <laughs> he was quick then. He was like, that time, it was your fault, not mine. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I wanted to show you a little bit more of the scenery. Unfortunately, we got a rainy day. That's just typical. But I also wanted to show you me using this wheel a little bit more. It is a really good steering wheel. And I've also used this steering wheel before on racing games as well. I've used it on Need for Speed. Um, all different types of Need for Speed I've used it on. I've used it on Gran Turismo. Uh, Bus Simulator 18. Bus Simulator 21. And... I can't even think it. Uh, yeah, I have used this steering wheel for quite a lot. And the good thing is, is this steering wheel works on PS3. It works... Oh, wow, he cut me up big time there. He deserved that. Yeah, you can use this on, on PS3. You can use it on PS4. Um, I don't know about the PS5. I haven't tried it, obviously. But, um, yeah, you can use it for the PS3, PS4, and you can also use it for PC as well. When you're using it on the PC, do note you do have to go down onto the Thrustmaster website and install the drivers, of course, for the steering wheel, which is completely free to do. It doesn't cost anything. You can uh, just type in the name of, even if you don't have the steering wheel, if you've got a Thrustmaster steering wheel, you can go onto the website and download the drivers. But you only need to download the drivers if you're using it on PC. If you're using it on the PS4 or even PS3, then you don't have to download the drivers it's just plug and play you put in your plug into your socket and then uh your usb into your playstation that's it so pretty easy to set up then once you set it up every time some games actually don't allow you to use a steering wheel but if 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 it does allow you the steering wheel has no problem connecting it definitely connects pretty quick That weren't actually too bad. I thought that was gonna, I thought that was gonna be messy around there. It's good when you go over the potholes as well. Again, just for that little bit more of realism. When you go over the pothole, the steering wheel shakes left and right and vibrates. But so big man is watching me, but obviously he can't see my face cam right now. So he's gonna have to wait to see the actual steering wheel me using it. Uh, when this video gets uploaded, unfortunately. But he's watching my actual driving, just not me using the wheel right now. Okay, so we've got a bus stop coming up. The brakes on this bus, do bear in mind, they're not very good. <laughs> it takes a very, very long time to slow down. So, um, yeah. You definitely don't want to be going too, too fast. I'm only going as fast as what I am. Just because I am on a long stretch of motorway, or kind of a motorway, or near a motorway, something like that, along those lines. Alright, so let me change the camera view. I don't know how well I'm going to do like this. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it's not, I'm not very good like that. That's really... <laughs> it's not gonna end well like that. Look, I can't even keep straight. No, okay. We'll have to do that another time. <laughs> I can't drive like I physically cannot drive like that. That's really cranky. So because the game is new, of course with some games when they first come out, is what happens is you get the odd little bit of glitching and bugging, which is kind of typical. That's something you always get from new games. Um yeah, with this one. I have definitely noticed that I am on the wrong side of the road and I'm about to get away with that. That was lucky. I missed the bus stop. Alright, we're going to have to back it up. But yeah, I have noticed with this game that there is a few little... I wouldn't say bug, uh, glitches so much, but there is, there is definitely a couple of um, little bugs in the game because it has problems sometimes it kind of like freezes up a little bit it doesn't happen for too long but it does freeze up a little bit and sometimes when that happens it can mess your driving up oh wow yeah just like that i'm done let me have a look at it this way 
How how is that even possible? Hell, I really don't know how that is possible. Huh? Yeah, where was the I think it ended up that way, didn't it? Alright, well, there was me saying about me using the steering wheel. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna, yeah, we're gonna pretend that never happened. <laughs> okay, there you go, let's put our wipes on. Alright, so I'm gonna leave the bus out of service for a minute. Um, let's have a look see whereabouts we are. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I can just follow this. Okay, let's follow this road. So, I will pull over in a moment and show you upstairs on the bus. I've already shown you this bus before, but just in case some of you missed the other video, I'm gonna... I'll show you again. But this, this is one of the main buses that I really... I don't know why, I just really wanted to drive this one with the wheel of course I have drove some of the other buses with the steering wheel but never the double decker so that's why I was quite hyped for this one to be honest and I've just if anything I'm probably not so much excited I'm more shocked because I can't believe how oh well I can't believe how good the wheel actually does work my driving is terrible we're just gonna we're just gonna go fast. We're just gonna drive like crazy people right now. Just because we can. Alright, get some speed. We got a hundred kilometers an hour there. I wanna kinda hit into something and see if I end up sending it flying. Let's have a look with this one. Okay, no, not really. Uh kinda. <laughs> yeah. I really do like when I go over those potholes with a steering wheel though. It proper the steering wheel proper does shake. Let's smack into that one. Oh wow. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> he went he went flying. Oh wow. Oh. We got stuck there. So that's going to be pretty much it with this one. I kind of finished off a little silly. But um, yeah, steering wheel. This steering wheel, which is, as I said, the Ferrari Thrustmaster T150 Force Feedback. It definitely works really well. Um, the, the foot pedals, of course, you can use the foot pedals. For me, I just, I, I think it's too much going on. Like you have to work your feet, work your hands, yeah, there's too much going on. It's not too bad because obviously this game is not one of those where you're supposed to drive fast, you know. It's a simulator game, you're supposed to take your time, drive slowly and obviously get places safely. But uh, yeah, just personal preference, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the pedals. But the pedals do work and they are, they are, they might be okay for some people but for me not so much. So if you are new around here, Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more Bus Simulator. We're going to do some multiplayer with Big Man now. And uh, make some videos on that. Us driving around together. And we're going to see who crashes the most. So keep an eye out for that video. We're going to drive next to each other. We're going to take the same route. And we're going to see who... who well, we're going to see who has the most crashes. That's what we're going to do. See, there you go. That's what I wanted it to do as well. So there's the little glitching thing that I said. Or the bug. Yeah, probably more of a bug. Okay, well, that one's a, a really big freeze up. Maybe I might have actually broken the game. No, nope. there you go. It's back. <laughs> that was definitely that was definitely the longest freeze up that we've had yet. That's for sure. But yeah, you get that every now and again. And again, <laughs> you do get you do get that every now and again, which can be a little bit frustrating. But that's they had that in Bus Simulator 2018 or 2018 or 18 whatever. They had that problem um, in that game as well but I, eventually they did manage to fix the problem it is just because the game is new it is going to be a little bit glitchy so you've got to
kind of expect that. I'm glad that it has done it, though. It's probably done it more now than what it's ever done. But, um, yeah, I'm still glad <laughs> that it has done it. 110. 111. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing is pretty quick, to be honest. Wow, it's freezing up more now than what it's ever done. All right, so let's just pull over here. Take out that pole. Oh, well, the pole stopped us. That done the job. So, yeah, bus simulator 21 with the Thrustmaster T150 steering wheel. Good experience. Definitely am going to be using this a lot more, this steering wheel, because uh, I think it's pretty good, actually. I, I quite enjoyed that. Keep an eye out for the next one. Me and Big Man together, as I said. We're going to see who crashes the most. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comments section below. If you want to become a member, that's in the description below as well. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We catch you people again soon with some more fun and games. I am out.